Hello, my lovely Leos, and a very warm welcome to your December 2021 horoscope. My goodness, is this a jam-packed, powerful, intense month as we lead up to a new year. Don't forget to watch your new year, your 2022-23 videos. Don't forget to, to check that out. And also, we're building up to a really powerful year because 2022 is the Pluto return of the United States. So what happens in the United States affects the rest of the world for sure. And it's going to be big times ahead. So don't forget to watch my videos about the Pluto return of the United States as well. The month starts out on the 4th with a blast of energy, with a solar eclipse happening here, whoopsie daisy, in your fifth house, joined by, of course, the Sun and Mercury. So the fifth house. And remember that the energies of an eclipse can last for a good six months afterwards. So this is potentially new beginnings, a new romance, you finding yourself romancing you in terms of your creativity. It's a wonderful time for starting a new business. It's a wonderful time for doing anything creative. It's a wonderful time for culture, for the arts, for entertainment. You might be doing the entertaining or you may be being entertained. It's a time when you are reminded to enjoy. It's a time when you are reminded to allow the child within you to come out and play and skip and dance and be silly and tell silly jokes. And you may be involved with a child or children or young people in some way. Now on the 14th of the month, Mercury comes into the sixth and also on the 14th, Mars comes into the fifth. So Mars is encouraging you to take action, to do something independently, to do something that's just yours, that's authentically you. Whether people approve of it or not, just try it, just go for it. Mars wants you to have courage and to be brave. And here we've got these, all these planets here in the sixth house. The sixth house very much to do with a focus on your health, your well-being. Mercury there, you might get some really useful information about a new diet, a new exercise program, about developing your energy levels. You may be learning or you may be teaching something in the healing arts. Also with Pluto there, you've got a lot of power to be able to make dramatic changes, positively, Venus, with your health. So it's worth putting the energy and the thought into it because it could pay off big time for you. Now, and also uh, an opportunity as well to find your work or vocation that you truly love and that you will only do that from here on in. You will not do the things that you hate. You will not do things that are just for money, but you will do what you love and your needs will be met. Now, on the 20th of the month, Venus goes retrograde in this sixth house until the 30th of January of the coming year. Now, when Venus is retrograde, it's a time to reevaluate finances and your love life. For you, you're going to be reevaluating your health and your work, but also finances, how you spend money, what you do with money, how you see money. Somebody from your past may come back into your life, a lover can come back. Something you used to do that you enjoyed can come back and you say, hey, I'm going to really go for it this time or I'll learn some more about this subject matter. And you may, it's not the best time for getting into a new relationship. So if you do meet somebody during this time, go slowly, 
wait and see how you feel by the end of January of next year before making big decisions. On the 29th of the month, Jupiter finally going direct and staying in Pisces, along with Neptune uh, for several months now. Uh, it's a wonderful time for support coming to you financially from different sources. It could be an investment, a grant, a loan, a partner, a collaboration, a partnership. All this bodes well for potential finances. So dream your dream there and dream it big because it's Jupiter. And it's also a wonderful time for opening your heart, your emotions, your soul and going more intimately into an existing relationship. Saturn square to Uranus gets really strong this month as an exact hit. So uh, it's square for you between your 10th and your 7th house. So you might find yourself really um, between the old and the new way of being in relationships. You want to break out and do things in a different way. And maybe there's certain structures that you have in place or that you think society expects from you that you need to break out of. So there you have it, my wonderful uh, Leos. I wish you a wonderful month. And I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.